Hi Taurus, it's Sloan Rhodes here with your Oracle card reading for January 2020. I'm doing one for each sign. This is going to be a quick peek at the month. I already did the uh, money, career, life purpose readings. Those are up on YouTube as well as on the podcast, the audio podcast. All of my YouTube videos are on the audio podcast, so you can listen to them as well as watch them here. Um, but this is just going to be a quick peek Oracle card reading for Taurus for the month of January 2020. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I'm going to sneeze, excuse me. <coughs> Sorry, I hate to sneeze on camera. Um, and just to remind everyone, too, that I do have my um, my final sale is still going on at the Sloan Academy, 60% off all of my online courses. So there are links below for that as well if you're interested in purchasing um, one of my online courses. There are great savings to be had there. I have a cold. I'm <laughs> so sorry. Sorry for the sniffles and the sneezes. Or maybe it's allergies, actually, at this point. I don't know. Okay, Taurus. Here we go. Metamorphosis. Wow. Number seven, or number 25, which I add together for seven. We have under the deck, follow the leader. I think you have been trying to create more stability for yourself um, in the recent past. Um, it's hard though, isn't it? You know, when, when we're going through a metamorphosis, sometimes we don't feel stable. But you are stable. You know, you've been following the leader here. We have number 22 under that as well. So another four intention um, under the deck. So there, there's this idea around security, safety, home, um, all of that stability under the deck here. And it may even be that you have felt uh, a need to kind of uh, speed things up. But here, <laughs> you may feel a sense of frustration in January because we have this metamorphosis card. We have number 27, 25, which I add together for seven, which can denote uh, delays, frustration. But remember, you're not being delayed in order to frustrate you. You are seemingly being delayed in whatever it is you're trying to change, right? Whatever you are undergoing so that you can integrate at the right time. In, in the right way for yourself. So even though it may be frustrated, like you feel like you've been trying to create some sense of stability, maybe even around your home, um, maybe you've recently been mentored or something like that here in the, in the recent past, um, but you're in the middle of this massive change, metamorphosis. It could be that you are transitioning even from one job to another or one location to another. Um, so it's an exciting time, but it can be frustrating and a little scary sometimes because what used to feel normal and right for us during a metamorphosis doesn't necessarily feel right anymore, but yet the new thing hasn't solidified yet. So we're kind of in this change place with you, Taurus. Um, and so you may feel uncomfortable and that's okay. You know, get, be gentle with yourself. Don't try to rush things. Take a breath. Remind yourself that all is well. Everything happens in the right time. You are integrating a lot of these changes um, that you've been experiencing and undergoing internally, maybe even externally. Um, so just give it a little bit of time. Um, you may even be butting heads <laughs> with someone who used to be more like you in the, in the past, let's say or even butting heads with your former self, if you want to look at it that way, because you're in the middle of this transformation and you're like, who am I? You know, it's almost like, I feel like with these flamingos, like, you know, it's like you press your face up to the mirror and you like, you know, are looking at yourself like, is that me? <laughs> you know, because you don't even recognize yourself in some ways because you've had so many changes. So very interesting energy here. Um, could be that you're working with someone either spiritually or in the physical. Uh, we do have the follow the leader here. Um, either you or someone else. Yeah, so I think the overarching message here for you, Taurus, is to, to be patient, be kind. If you look in the mirror and you say, who the heck is that looking back at me? That's okay. You will know soon enough. <laughs> uh, you know, we're not uh, meant to just be one way throughout our entire lives. And, you know, we even have number seven, right? 
and there's the saying that you know every seven years you you completely change all of your your cells or something like that uh, so you know it's it's not uncommon to feel the sense of change and uh, newness with the number seven here so you are in the middle of this massive kind of metamorphosis this massive transformation so gentle baby steps <laughs> and very, a lot of kindness with, with self Taurus so anyway I hope that you find that helpful and uh, I wish you much love as always Taurus till next time